But anyway, well, it's Scott Pickens, CEO and founder of Wealth Migrate and chairman of the Global Wealth Group. It's time for another weekly Wealth Insight. What is today's one going to be about? Well, it's the difference between a growth mindset and a fixed mindset. Now, I'm doing this amazing course at the moment by Stephen Kotler on flow. And, you know, it's just incredible how you can achieve so much more, like in the realms of 40% plus, if you actually get yourself in the flow. But there's two paradigms that are really important when it comes to ultimately getting into flow. And the first one is your mindset. And the second one is grit. Now, let's talk a little bit about mindset and specifically a growth mindset. What's important is that in a fixed mindset, you believe that whatever you've got in your life is the status quo, whether it's intelligence, whether it's money, whether it's fitness, you know, or anything along talent or anything, it's fixed. And whatever you've got, that's what it is. And that's the rest of your life. There's nothing you can do about it. Whereas a growth mindset, it's all about the starting point. Literally, you work on it and, and the results are up to you. Um, it's the whole principle of Kaizen where you're constantly a never-ending improvement. And, you know, there's fascinating research out there that 96% of Americans never read another non-fiction book again once they leave school. That's a classic example of people not learning and not growing. There's another stat which is also in the same sort of percentage, about 96% of people that buy a course never actually finish the course. Now, it's amazing when you look at these stats over and over again around the world. You know, less than 1% of people retire wealthy, you know, and yet, you know, 96% of people don't have goals. And 3% of people have goals, but they're only in their heads, and only 1% of people write their goals down. You've got to start noticing these trends and these patterns of why this is so important. And, you know, when you compare it, you know, there's research being done. There's a lady called uh, Carol uh, Dweck, who's a professor at Stanford, and she actually did some research on, on this growth mindset. And she said, if they, if they use um, machines to measure the brain activity in your brain, if you're a fixed mindset and you're given a challenge, there's literally no activity in your brain. Whereas if you're a growth mindset, your brain is like on fire. It's like a firework show going on because all you're doing is working to solve the problem. Remember, most people spend 97% of their time focusing on the problem and leaders you know, spend 97% of their time focusing on the solution and only 3% of their time focusing on the problem. Again, a growth mindset. She also did some research on Formula One drivers and, and you know, monitoring how they progress and everything else. And she found that, you know, those that are in flow and those that consistently win have this growth mindset because they're consistently getting better and stronger and learning more and more and just getting faster and faster. But also they spend the majority of their life in flow. Now that brings me on to Angela Duckworth, who's at the University of Pennsylvania. And she's literally like the grand lady of, of uh, this whole concept of grit. And she says that grit is the intersection of passion and persistence. So the intersection of passion and persistence. But what's really interesting is that when she's and she's done, you know, decades worth of research into grit. And she says that the number one characteristic of people that have got grit or that they have a growth mindset. And so it's a it's a full circle. Now, if you want to be successful, you have to have grit. You have to have passion. You have to have persistence. And what's really, really interesting is that it's built on the foundation of a growth mindset. And what's so fascinating to me is that the majority of the world's population is not based on this. You know, I've given you all the stats already that, that they've got a fixed mindset. They're not prepared to learn and to grow. I've got another construct I do with a guy called Richard Neff from Realty Check, where it's your 22 driving dynamics is what drive you. And for me consistently, I've done this since 2009. So over the last 11 or 12 years, consistently personal development has come in my top three. It's, it's a very important requirement for, one, for anyone in our team because without a growth mindset, you cannot succeed. You cannot take on massive challenges. And most importantly, you cannot achieve the impossible. So that's this weekly Wealth Insight. Look at your mindset and decide what you want for your life. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. We bring them out every single week. We want to empower a billion people. We cannot do it on our own. Please go out and share it with your friends and family. As I always say, it starts with self-belief. It starts with mindset. And then we move to knowledge. And hopefully, if nothing else today, I've shown you the importance of a growth mindset, consistent and never-ending improvement. That's my challenge for you this week. Cheers.